This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, Mobius Moto CEO takes us through the unique features of the Mobius 3. We preview the latest generation of the Ford Everest SUV. And finally, we give you an exclusive sneak peek of the ultimate 4x4 machine, the Ineos Grenadier. Catch this much, much more on Sunday at 6 p.m. only on KTN Home. Welcome to Kazi Big Boy Trev News segment. We give you the lowdown of what's happening across the world. On to our first news item, it's all about the Blue Oval. Ford, they've just unveiled the brand new next generation Ford Everest SUV. Now I can tell you, the brand new product looks amazing. Of course, they're out here to stamp the authority. They're going to be the best SUV in the market. So who are the key rivals in this mid-size segment? Of course, you do have the Toyota Fortuna, the Nissan Terra, and of course, not forgetting the Suzu MUX. So what's brand new about this particular product? Plenty. Now it shares the platform with the all-new Ranger. So it's got the T6.2 platform, sturdy, hard, and of course, very capable. Number two, engines. They've introduced two new engines. So the first one is the introduction of a six-cylinder V6 diesel. So that particular engine actually produces 597 newton meters of torque and 190 kilowatts. And of course, it is sent to the four wheels courtesy of a 10-speed automatic, of course, with full-time four-wheel drive with diff lock. So very capable, very amazing. Inside, obviously, you do have plenty of tech. It's bigger, it's wider, looks more butch. And of course, the design, as you can see, the full matrix daytime LED, they're adaptive, so they adapt to the different conditions. It's driving at night. If you're driving fast, to illuminate the road to ensure that you remain safe while driving it. Inside, the cabin is spacious, plenty of good texture materials. You do have a number of new things. The biggest thing is the center console, massive display, tablet cell, like a Tesla. And of course, it houses the Ford Sync system, which is a voice activated system that allows you to control certain aspects of the car without taking your hands off the wheel. And of course, you do have also Apple CarPlay and Android uh, support so you can plug in your phone and of course, it becomes an extension of your phone, making you productive as you traverse the beautiful country of Kenya. And of course, safety equipment, tons, tons, tons. Of course, you do have from the active front, everything from ABS, electronic brake force distribution. You have cross traffic adapt adaptive cruise control with emergency autonomous braking. And of course, you do have even blind spot assist. And of course, if all hell breaks loose, you have eight airbags in total. And of course, it gives you peace of mind when you're driving this particular Everest. So the lowdown, when is it coming to Kenya? We are not sure yet. It just launched a few minutes ago. And of course, we anticipate that this particular product will be here by Q3 2021. So make sure you catch Kazi Big Boy Trev for all the details. And of course, exclusive review of the Ford Everest. Welcome to Kazi Big Boy Trev social media feedback section. We give you the room to say what you need to say about the show. We start this particular review by going to YouTube, which is our primary channel. For those who do not know, after the show, this particular episode goes straight to YouTube. And of course, you can catch it from 6.30 p.m. Now, I'm going to jump into the comments. Our first comment is a guy called Daniel Wadara, and he says, Nissan never disappoint. From the Navara to the Triton. I don't know what Triton means, but hey. Love the new Navara. Well, thank you so much. Make sure you catch the review coming soon on CBBT. On to our second comment. is a guy called Muchuma Reviews. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? Keep watching the show. He says, I've seen 2022 Mitsubishi Triton having the same 2.5 liter turbo diesel. Why? Well, as you know, Mitsubishi and Nissan are part of an alliance, so they share different components. Of course, each brand has its unique identifier. But again, make sure you catch the review of Cars Big Boy for both brands, Mitsubishi and Nissan, coming soon to a TV screen near you. Guys, thank you so much for watching us on Cars Big Boy Trev uh, social media review. If you have any questions, comments, or queries, don't hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. CBBT underscore TV, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Sanduku Lapta. Until next week, hasta la vista. Hi guys, welcome to Mobius Motors. Uh, we are going to walk around the car together and I'm going to show you what the unique selling points of the car from the exterior point of view. So let's start. Uh, let's start with the front end first. Um, what I like very much in the front end on this car first is the, the front grille. Uh, this is the Mobius front grille and you can see the Mobius name in big characters uh, on, the, on the bonnet. So it makes the car very visible and get, uh, give a very, very um, um, robust feeling of the car. 
Um, very beautiful headlights, uh, transparent. You can see every detail inside. I like it very much. And you can see as well here, uh, the two towing red hooks. So that show clearly that this car is an off-roader. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's ready to, to go for a safari. Um, I like particularly the front fenders that are very prominent, okay? Uh, uh, widening the car, because the car is, is quite refined, but also very wide thanks to these fenders. And if you step back, in fact, and look at the car, you will see that the car stands very well on its wheels. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's clear that it's really uh, standing well and uh, very well balanced, in fact, okay? And, and, and ready to uh, go to difficult roads and to climb big mountains. The side of this car is probably what I prefer in this car. Uh, uh, you can see uh, first the shape of the car is square. And this is the Mobius DNA, uh, a square shape, a very robust, a rugged car, a bold car, uh, standing very well on its, on its four wheels, uh, very well balanced, by the way, um, and a high ground, ground clearance. Uh, that is definitely a sign that you can take this car and go to do off-road uh, in a very, very safe manner. Uh, by the way, you, you can see that the windshield is foldable and you can see here the rubbers on which the windshield will, will lay uh, when it's folded. Uh, very interesting as well with this is the contrast between the, the color of the car and, and the black element of it. So you have a black line in the bottom of the car but also a black line from coming from the roof because this roof is uh, removable fully, uh, front roof and back roof. And this for me gives really, uh, make, make in fact the, the, the charm of this car particularly. Hence, personally, I like the blue color, the white color, because you can see very well this uh, uh, roof uh, standing a part of the vehicle. So in the back of the car, uh, three things that are standing out. Uh, the first one still again, the two towing hooks uh, that uh, shows definitely that this car is, a, is an off-road car. Um, also, the way the, the, way the, the tailgate is designed. So you have the wheel on the tailgate, but it's a very nice design. The glass is very simple, very flat. And by the way, it's also the time to say that when you look at the gap and flushes of this vehicle, they are very, very uh, well finished. Uh, everything is extremely well assembled and, and it makes uh, this car different from the others. Um, what I like particularly is the rear light, uh, particularly when it is uh, 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 on, on light. Uh, you will see here you have a very simple design. This one, when it's night, of course, stands out as a, as a, as a rectangle, a red rectangle, uh, which makes it extremely beautiful. Well, uh, and again, uh, here, uh, the same principle of having visible hinges, okay? These two hinges, these big hinges here as well, uh, that uh, make this car different from the others. Well, this is the end of our walk around the car, guys. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. Um, I hope this will make you uh, feel that this car is a, is a very good car, very rugged, uh, a car which is uh, you, can, you can really trust. And um, I take this opportunity to tell you that uh, uh, for this price, uh, which is extremely competitive against imported used car, uh, you will have not only the price, but also a very good support in our network across the country. Uh, so you are welcome at any time you want uh, to our showroom. And we will give you, of course, many more details about this car. And I hope we will convince that it is the car you need. Thank you very much. Hi guys, welcome to Kazu Big Boy Travel. We are everything motoring. Today is a special day. I'm in Johannesburg, South Africa, and right next to me is the most anticipated 4x4 for this year. Introducing to you the Ineos Grenadier, and with me is the man, the head person who's in charge of Africa, Mr. Ricardo Adams. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Trevor. So tell us much more about this particular product. Well, Trevor, to be honest with you, this is the uh, 4x4 that the world's been waiting for. Yes. The utilitarian vehicle that is taking the market um, by storm. Everybody's watching our videos. Everybody's wanting and excited to see what this new 4x4 is actually capable of. 
And our uh, INEOS designing team is just exactly that. It's a utilitarian vehicle that with no frills, no fuss, will be able to take on the 4x4 world beyond 2025 with family expectations beyond our wildest dreams. As we jump straight into it, it's all about the architecture. Tell us about the, the subframe, you know, it's all about the 4x4 capabilities. What can this Grenadier do? Well, you know, to have a lot of engineers and, and, and anticipation of what this Grenadier is actually capable of. We have uh, designed a, a full box Lady chassis, um, capable of doing something streaming 4x4 off-road. Built to that is the uh, solid axles built by Carraro, yes. um, a tractor manufacturing company that has uh, helped us build our suspension. So we have three differentials, um, front, rear and center, um, which can be locked and unlocked individually. Again, suspension built for rugged utilitarian 4x4. Yeah. Speaking of that, that part needs to be transmitted to the axles. What types of engines does this Grenadier have? Well, that's a surprise and everybody knows that by now, yes. You know, we have these uh, BMW uh, engine, uh, straight six petrol, straight six diesel, and married with that uh, combination is the eight speed ZF gearbox. Again, it's also well known in other manufacturers, but that is the best combination. And again, with BMW being a, a really big uh, manufacturer in the world, not everybody is able to get their product, but between Ineos and BMW, we have managed to secure the uh, straight six petrol, straight six diesel. So, of course, finally, it's all about warranties. So, when somebody buys this car, what can they expect from Grenadier? Well, yeah, when somebody purchases the car, you get so much more. You get the service plan, which is a three-year service plan, unlimited mileage with unlimited warranty. And then there's the negotiation to extend that to five. Wow. Um, also, the customers have all the right to uh, download the workshop manuals on their own, be able to fix it, repair it in the field. And that is what Sir Jim wanted. That is what the Ineos Grenadier uh, ethos is about. Customers be able to repair the vehicle in the field on their own without uh, affecting their warranties um, and have the freedom to make the vehicle your own, your own personal drive, your, your own baby. Yeah. Wow, guys, do you listen to that? So you basically can be able to fix the car without affecting your warranties. And again, they give you access to all the maps of the car from the engine layout, electricals, everything that you need to know to ensure that your Grenadier runs effectively. So that has been an exclusive sneak peek. You cannot get this information anywhere else. On your cars with Big Boy Trev every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. on KTN Home for the best of motoring. So next up, we're gonna talk to somebody who's gonna give us the details about sub Africa, and then we're gonna get into the car, hop in and feel the power, the delivery of the Canadian. All right, show me about the car, the design aspect. That's well, yeah, Trevor, let me start at the front. Um, again, manufactured from the Ineos Grenadier, something that's unique to our brand is this extended front bumper. And as you can see, it's uh, quite elongated. But the nice idea about this is you actually have a seat down and just sit down and be able to hold my weight. So this is something new to the Ineos Grenadier design, wow. where it's comfortable in the, in, in the field of, of, of picnicking. Again, we have LED headlights. Um, very bright in, in terms of uh, contrast in the evening. We have this front nose cone, which is actually a wrap. There's 10 different variations of colors and contrast that we can play with. So you can change the color um, with the contrasting roof. But yes, this is uh, a, a icon of the Ineos Grenadier. So wow. from, the, from the side of the vehicle, you can see this one's fairly raised up. Yes. Uh, this is one of our prototypes that's been doing some testing in uh, Iceland. Um, but yes, raised suspension, a um, little bit bigger wheels, and that's just for the uh, volcanic rock testing out in Iceland. Wow. Coming to the side of the door, you'll see this beautiful silver um, utility rails. Again, a utility rail that can load about 100 kilos on here to add more accessories to our vehicle. Wow. The vehicle will come in with a normal key lock, so very easy to open, uh -huh. quite comfortable, real rigid utilitarian 4x4 uh -huh. is what Ineos designed. Again, when we start looking at the interior of the vehicle, a very small icon steering wheel. Again, something that the 4x4 world really wants to see. And if we start focusing to the center um, console up against the roof, that is also iconic, where we activate all our 4x4 front differentials, rear differentials, and if you're not finished, you'll get a, a pilot license so you can fly it. Yeah, but yeah, that's, It looks like an aircraft, really. It, it does, does, Trevor. Yes, it really does. And then if I come to the rear again, a real solid door. Um, at the bottom of the seats, you'll see the seats are from Carraro. Um, again, 
perfect seats for the long road yeah. very comfortable um, underneath you'll have the space for the dual battery system again when you run around your accessories um, your fridges and again use an, uh, a company in aftermarket to fit your accessories without having to cut the looms open yeah, yeah. So again, iconic to the Ineos Grenadier, um, the 3070 door split. Again, the small little utilitarian door. Um, again, you can close it, open it. Very accessible for the uh, get the doggies out, uh, put in the toolbox, um, get the food and parcels out instead of having this huge door that you have to open. But the nicest thing about it, it's actually very comfortable to open. And as you can see, the loading space can fit a Euro pallet, which is a part of our design. You see the load space is fairly big, no obstructions in terms of the entry. Yeah, right. Well, thank you. Thank you for just taking us through, guys. So that has been the, ex you know, the, the walk around of the Grenadiers. So we are pretty much chuffed to be here just to share the wisdom that he has with you guys. And of course, for more details about Grenadier, please visit their website. And keep it cause a big butter because i'm gonna be giving you more exclusives about the grenadier so guys that has been the breakdown of what Enos has in store for kenya and sub saharan africa for the grenadier so it's gonna be an exciting product we've talked about you know the after sales and many other things but before we leave i have a special privilege because i can't drive a prototype i have to be driven and of course the legend himself will drive me and just take me through the car and how it feels on the road so are you ready I'm ready Trevor, are you? Yes. All right, so as you can see here, Trevor, yes. a touchscreen um, vehicle comes out with tire pressure monitoring. Yes. Standard, you can see the engine, uh, engine oil temperature, gearbox oil temperature. This is part of prototype, not yes. calibrated 100%, but yes, the vehicle will have these functions available on, 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 the, on the Ineos Grenadier. Also a beautiful option is these beautiful safari windows. You know, it's easy removable, yes. again, it's easy lockdown. And, uh, you know, especially so with some countries who do is game viewers, you can actually stand and take pictures um, through here. So this can be removed completely. What's the load capacity of the roof actually? The load capacity of the roof currently is uh, 100 kilograms. Yes. But again, um, the utility rails, the roof, 100 kilograms, uh, pop-up tents can be added. And this is just another extra wow. of Inuit's Grenadier. Wow. I mean, a lot of practicality here. And as you can see, the touch screen is, is usable. And then you also have those knobs so that when you're wearing gloves, you're not able, you're also able to just fiddle with the system. Also comfortable is that if the driver is really busy concentrating on four by four terrain, yes. we want somebody to assist him. And again, the passenger easy labels and buttons have been identified as what must be activated and what must not be activated. Yes. Again, also showing you the turning circle absolutely top class for a vehicle with this capability and size feels like a small suv like it's very compact the way it turns feels like a small suv and yet this is a massive vehicle absolutely and you can see terrain from terrain to terrain yes rough roads um, articulated roads to tar roads this vehicle is just so capable of adjusting itself wow it doesn't feel anything really it just feels so composed it doesn't feel like it's you know there's weight weight change and weight balance a little bit of power bank <laughs> listen to the power of that inline six <laughs> the man the legend <laughs> All right, guys, we've just seen what the Ineos Grenadier is all about. It's all about performance, toughness, durability, and of course, its functionality. But now, I am with the head honcho of Ineos Grenadier, and his name is Tim Abbott. He's the head of Sub-Sahara and South Africa, and he's going to give us a lowdown about the brand. Welcome to the Trevor, show. Trevor, nice to meet you. You too as well. Yeah, no. form over function here. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Form over function. But tell us. What's the story about Ineos getting into the 4x4 brand and now the plans for Sub-Saharan Africa? Well, look, if there's ever a vehicle that's built for Africa, this is it. You know, it's going to fill a very a big niche that's been left by other manufacturers. Um, you know, I think our chairman had in the back of his mind Africa all the time. I mean, he's, he's a lover of the country, lover of the continent, and he knew that this vehicle would do what it says on the tin. Uh, and I think going from Senegal right the way down to the Cape region, this is a car that's built for all of us to use, whether it's on-road or off-road. 
we're pretty much excited about this Grenadier. I mean, for the first time, I'm actually enjoying the look. It actually, it's a real vehicle, guys, real. It works, <laughs> and we're quite excited about it. But tell us about the unique selling point of this Grenadier. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it, again, it's functionality. It's a no-nonsense 4x4. You see by the shape of it, I think it's a beautiful shape, because yes. it means it does what it says on the tin. Um, it, able to store equipment, to, if you're going to go off-roading, if people are going to use it uh, in the mining community, in, in a, anywhere, you know, in the tourism industry, this is a car that's been built. So to me, functionality is absolutely key with this vehicle, both exterior and interior. And obviously, you know, things like the utility rails down the side, to put extra jerry cans on, whether it's photographic equipment to go into the bush, obviously the safari windows at the top. I mean, this is a, a car that's been built with thought. And that's what I love about it. It's built for Africa. Wow. Guys, you hear the brief, basically the unique selling points of this car, it's functionalities, everything. But now that we understand the vehicle is coming to the region, um, when can we expect these cars to arrive? Like orders coming in, uh, are pre-orders still on? And when are they ending? And when should we expect these cars in Sub-Saharan Africa? The, the first orders have been taken, so we open reservations in October of 2021. Um, and we've got a very healthy order book uh, for South Africa. Uh, and we've got orders from Botswana and Namibia. Uh, we're about to appoint our agent in Kenya in Nairobi. We're very excited about our partner. Again, this is about somebody understanding the brand, understanding what a 4x4 enthusiast or a utilitarian want out of the vehicle. So he already say, is saying, I've got 250 people who will buy this vehicle. So that shows the demand that we think Kenya will have. Uh, and this reach will go all over Sub-Sahara. So we will have agents from Senegal, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Nigeria is going to be a big market for us, Tanzania, uh, Botswana, Namibia, and of course, Kenya. Finally, it's all about warranties. What are the warranties that you're giving the Grenadier? Um, we, it'll come with a three-year warranty. It'll be unlimited kilometers. Um, and that's, that'll be standard across the whole of the African continent. We will be looking at service packages as well that will take it out to five years and then to seven years. But initially, three years, rock solid warranty on all parts on the, on the vehicle, unlimited kilometers. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Casa Big, but Travis, it's always an honor, Tim. I'm looking forward to do plenty of uh, trips with this Grenadier. Hopefully do an expedition from Nairobi, Kenya to Johannesburg through the long route, you know, winding rivers and roads. But guys, that has been an exclusive courtesy of Kazi Big, but we are right here in Midland, South Africa with the head of uh, Ineos, Grenadier, Sub-Saharan Africa and South Africa. He's giving us details about the plans for the brand for the region and so much more. So until next time, guys, if you have any questions, comments or queries, not hesitate to write to us as seen on the social media handles below. We'll get back to you the feedback next week. Meanwhile, if you want to order Grenadier, please go to their website, select, you know, you know, make an order, check out the colors, the additional stuff that you may want, and of course, book your vehicle soon because deliveries are starting in October and hopefully Kenya will be after that. So until next week, be safe.